Well, hey there, how are you doing today? Thanks a lot for joining me. It's uh, Simeon here. Cheers. We're in the UK here on our annual crop circle tour. You know, I've been coming here, oh, it's almost 16 years now, ever since I learned about the crop circles. We're back here again. Our group is arriving in a few days, but I thought I'd fill you in on what's going on. The reason that we're so interested in the crop circles is the reason that I'm interested in. By the way, we're at the beautiful outside Chance pub. We're in the beautiful outside garden here in Manton near Marlborough. You know, that's the way I say it, Marlborough. Actually, it's where our Marlborough man comes from, but that's, you know, that's not the way I say it, it's Marlborough. So anyway, we're here near Marlborough. We come back here for our crop circle tours. And what personally fascinated me about the crop circles all these years is strange and weird effects on our cameras and batteries. When we go into the crop circles, and uh, I've seen this many, many times now, and if you look on other YouTube videos here, you'll see examples that I've posted where people like you and me go in with our cameras and batteries and devices and you know computers and things, they just stop working when we get near the crop circle or where we, when we get into the crop circle. It's something that's really mystified me for many years now. And I've never seen an adequate explanation. I mean, if you know what's going on here, I'd be glad to hear your idea about why we get these effects. Basically, you go into the circle and the camera stops focusing, it stops taking pictures, maybe it just completely conks out, the LCD screen can stop working. I've seen other examples where the batteries just basically drain. You test them later, there's no energy left in them. When you went into the formation, it was fresh. It's a really strange effect. So here's what I'm thinking is going on. Uh, this idea occurred to me a few months ago, and I'm pretty sure this is what it is. Of course, I could be wrong, but this is what I think is going on. I think that the crop circles are interacting with so-called dark energy in the universe. This background field of energy that is apparently responsible for pushing groups of galaxies apart from each other at an accelerating rate. To explain what that is, let's contrast it with so-called dark matter. This is, you may have heard of these before, but this is what, to explain it in case you don't know what these are. The dark matter is this force that appears to hold galaxies together and pulls groups of galaxies toward each other. Uh, it's, an, it's called dark matter because no one knows what sort of matter this is. It has a gravitational effect, but it doesn't interact with light or any other type of matter, so no one knows what the dark matter is, but without this matter, the galaxies would be kind of flying apart, but as it is, group, galaxies hold together, and groups of galaxies move towards each other, like our local group of about 50 galaxies, you know, Milky Way, our Milky Way, and then Andromeda, and many other galaxies that are relatively close to us are called the local group. The dark matter acts at that local scale, a so-called tame space, where things are kind of getting pulled together, another gravitational force. Then at an even larger scale, there's this so-called dark energy, which is pushing groups of galaxies apart from each other at an ever-accelerating rate. Dark matter makes up about 35% of the galaxy of energy matter in, excuse me, energy matter in our universe, but dark energy makes a whopping 70% of the energy matter in our universe. Again, it's another unknown force because no one knows what it is, but it seems to be creating more and more space. Space keeps creating more of itself. It's what some people refer to as wild space, as opposed to the tame space where galaxies are. But here's what's interesting about it. There is disagreement amongst astrophysicists about whether dark energy is just something that's far away from us, like you and me, like way out there, you know, beyond our local group of 50 galaxies, that it's in this space far away. Other physicists think, no, it's actually here with us in a kind of, you know, not that concentrated form, about one joule of energy per square kilometer. But that dark energy forms a background energy field that some people call quintessence. Yeah, that quintessence. And this quintessence field permeates the entire universe, and it's here with us right now. It's around you, it's around me, it's around everything. Not that concentrated, but it's there in the background. And that's what's responsible for pushing galaxy, groups of galaxies apart from each other at the whole universe is moving apart at a faster and faster rate. So here's what I think is going on. After all these years of looking at the cameras and batteries, I've concluded there must be another energy field that physicists have not talked about yet. I've never heard an explanation for what it could be. 
and that when we go near the crop circles, it's affecting this energy field, is interacting with the crop circle, being amplified in some way and affecting our devices, producing a little more voltage than you would expect. Our integrated circuit uh, chips are very sensitive to the slightest change in voltage, and all you need is a little more uh, than you'd expect for the device to kind of stop working properly. It's quite possible that the structure of crop circles, if you've seen them, these are the patterns in wheat that are you know, very large, geometric, artistic patterns. They've been in fractal shapes and tessellated tile type patterns, star formations, all range of formations. You know, you've seen these around. If you've been following any work that I do, you're familiar with the crop circles. Now, my view is that many of them nowadays in the UK are made by people, but I'm still quite fascinated by those because even the ones made by people affect our cameras and batteries. Hey, the ones that we've made, experimental formations where we paid the farmer ahead of time, commissioned projects for people like our Math Matrix of 2006 that we just did for Scott Blandsberg, you know, the uh, Math Whiz you might have seen on Oprah or somewhere. Uh, the one we did for him affected our my camera, when someone was using my camera to take pictures flying over our formation at about 500 feet with a microlight. So this energy field is in and around the circles. I first saw it myself in 1998. At about a quarter mile from a circle taking pictures, the focusing mechanism stopped working. And then we were using film in those days. The film just rewound on its own without me even touching the camera. So it's something that happens in and around the crop circles. What I think is going on is that the circle itself it acts like a liquid crystal. It is, has these striated, uh, layered patterns of wheat, which is a very crystalline type of pattern, and that it actually acts like a crystal, a liquid crystal, and it interacts with this background quintessence energy field, in effect, acting like a dark energy attractor. And it's interacting with the dark energy, amplifying or attracting the dark energy enough to affect our cameras, our equipment, our computers, our tablets, and so forth, and, uh, in effect, showing us this field of ener energy, which normally we wouldn't interact with at our scale because you only usually see it at galactic scales. I admit it's a pretty kind of far-out idea, but I don't know any other explanation for the camera and battery failure that we see in crop circles and we don't see anywhere else. I've never seen it anywhere else. I've talked to farmers. They don't seem to see it in regular fields. It's only there when the crop pattern is there. And uh, I think our best bet right now is that the crop circle is, in fact, interacting with the dark energy. And that's my idea for it. Now, if you have a better idea, I'd love to hear it. Uh, feel free to share, comment below what you think is going on. I'm always interested to hear what you have to say. Okay, I'll be updating you a little later on, and that's all for now. Take care, and we'll see you.